In Parliament today, Senior Minister of State for Trade and Industry, Ko Po Kun, clashed with various Workers' Party MPs over the issue of minimum wage. This is the latest in debates on the subject, this time fueled by a recent Facebook post from WP Chief Pritam Singh, where he called for a universal minimum wage of $1,300. While disagreeing with the need for a minimum wage, Dr. Ko said that it would potentially disadvantage small companies, which would struggle to pay these wages. In an ideal world, of course, a high minimum wage will force industries to invest more in technology, invest in items that can raise the productivity and favour the most efficient firms without lowering overall employment. But in practice, there will be winners and losers. And it is our SMEs who are the most vulnerable and our most vulnerable workers who are also at risk of losing out. Dr. Cole went on to highlight that only 56,000 employees earn less than $1,300 a month, with 32,000 employed in full-time jobs. Well, Mr. Singh expressed concern with this number, urging the government to aid workers who are struggling to make ends meet. I'm sure Senior Minister of State agrees with me that we can do and we can move quite fast for these people. And I'll be prepared to, to, to work with Senior Minister of State to ensure that we can actually reach out to, to these Singaporeans as quickly as, they can, as, as quickly as the government can. Because I don't think it is acceptable that anyone, any Singaporean is earning below this number. It is simply not acceptable. And if we can do something about it in double quick time, let's do it. Other MPs who chimed in include Jameis Lim and Leon Pereira from WP, as well as PAP MPs Edward Chia and Kerry Tan. Well, moving on, parents of Singaporean children born before October 1st, but whose certified estimated delivery date was on or after October 1st, can appeal to qualify for the baby support grant. Minister in the Prime Minister's office, Indrani Raja, said more details will be available soon. There's been a wave of petitions and feedback to change the start date since last Friday's announcement of the $3,000 grant. Ms. Indrani explained that the start date was decided with the aim of the scheme in mind, which is to support couples who had planned to delay their parenthood plans because of the pandemic. We would like to seek the public's understanding that specific start dates are required for any new measure or enhancement. And regardless of the effective start date, there will always be some babies who are born before it. Well, Ms Indrani reminded parents that they are entitled to other support schemes, including cash support in the form of the baby bonus cash gift, as well as government co-savings for the child development account. Minister of State for Manpower Gan Xiao Huang told Parliament that the Ministry is reviewing its guidelines to see if employers who have received warnings for illegally deploying the maids to work at a different place should get a fine instead. But there are no plans to review the maximum penalty for the illegal deployment of these workers. Ms Gan added that the number of such cases has remained relatively stable in the past few years. <laughs> 